Hello, Gemini. It is High Priestess Jamila, and I'm here to do a reading on how will Saturn retrograde affect you. So Saturn is going to go into retrograde on the 29th of June, which is in just a few weeks here, um, and will be in retrograde until November 15th. Okay, I just lost my light. Give me a second. Okay, now you guys are going to have to look at the annoying shadow of my tripod. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to try to make this better for you guys. All right, I apologize. Interesting. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to work through whatever that, because sometimes the light just goes off in TikTok, and I'm recording straight from TikTok. All right, so for the Gemini's spirit guides, what messages do you have? about Saturn in retrograde for 2024 for the Geminis. What do you see? How are you seeing this affecting the Geminis? This may not resonate for all of you. Um, however, um, it, it is just a sample reading. Okay. All right. Seven of Wands inverted. Definitely can see that a lot of you Geminis are going to feel stuck. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Feeling as though your obstacles are a little bit more difficult to get through. You got the Six of Pentacles upright. And you got the Ace of Cups upright. Awesome. Okay. So, you got a repeating number six. Uh, which means that there's some things that you do need to look at in the past. Okay. Um things that you need to work on that may have happened in the past. Maybe it was some things that um, you need to correct from the past or maybe just look at and reflect on. Um, I do see a financial issue being worked through. Definitely can see that happening. Uh, however, there seems to be something that has been like tormenting your mind that spirit guides are saying to work through that and then things will get easier it seems like things are really really like this is just showing some struggle right here uh and you know and you can see that there's that that the six of pentacles denotes getting and receiving some kind of help okay or assistance or either needing it uh, next to the Ace of Cups says that whatever hurdle this is, though, you are going to get through it. Uh, for some reason, what Spirit is saying is that there that, that there is some investments that you made uh, that you're definitely going to get paid off on. But with that Six of Swords inverted, and see, I do read reversals. I think that they come up that way for a reason. Uh, which means that there's something that needs to be worked through, something that needs to be worked out, okay? So I like my reversals, okay? They tell me a lot. You seem to be striving during this time frame to push forward and to have some kind of progression. Um you can tell that you guys are going to be okay, that you're going to experience some kind of relief, right? But as far as you guys going to the next, like, like just to the next level, I, you know, I feel like that's something where, like, at the end of the retrograde period, you're going to say, dang, I, you know, I was okay. I made out okay. It was a relief. But there was more that I wanted. There was more that I was working for that I didn't achieve. In fact, let's throw, I feel like there's a crutch somewhere. Uh, and I feel like spirit guides are saying that if you want to go to the next level to let go of your crutches, um, or either the training wheels or something. Okay. Give me some clarity on six of pentacles and six of swords. What? Why are y'all giving Gemini's a repeating number six? See, the, I, the magician comes up inverted. And so, Gemini, that just tells me that you guys are sort of like not necessarily 
navigating your reality and something seems to be something is manipulating that either something or someone uh or it's but it it's ultimately lies with you that is like not really like it's like it's going to be okay but then again it is something and and it's connected to the planet mercury because the magician card represents the planet mercury and mercury is a very mysterious planet when it comes to um creating your own reality is basically what that card points to and you guys have been wanting to do that but you haven't and there's a reason for that and that is because you guys are staying in a comfort zone spiritually especially if you are a practitioner you're staying in some comfort zone when you need to expand and you know whatever it was that worked for you previously for some reason it's not working now um and that that could be a plethora of reasons why that is happening but the main aspect of it with that magician is all about um self mastery and um spirit guides is feeling like you could do a better job at doing that okay but because there is a crutch i'm gonna pull the next card yeah because there is a crutch and this queen of pentacles uh, seems to be i mean the queen of pentacles upright could represent anything as small as a payday loan company going all the way up to loans and interests and a lot of you guys may be getting ready to take out a second mortgage or something like that um and that is the crutch is but but i feel like a lot of you guys really really want that financial freedom um and it seems like it's something that has gotten you stuck and for the two sixes to come up gemini means that things were better previously like but then all of a sudden they became very difficult okay so that you guys is reading uh for saturn retrograde i hope that this helps you guys um you guys can contact me at my website divine services apothecary.com for readings or consultations my number is at the bottom of the screen if you guys want to text or call with any questions or inquiries uh, please do so. Also, follow, like, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Blessings. Bye.